Hi there, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. We're back to talk about Microsoft uh, Stream once again after a small break yesterday. Though I didn't actually post a vlog, I just posted an audio bite from my previous episode of uh, Stories of Modern Work podcast. If you're talking about the podcast, if you haven't listened or subscribed to the podcast, I highly encourage you to go check it out. Uh, it's available on all the podcasting apps. Maybe not on all of the apps, but <laughs> most of them, okay? Uh, like your Google Play and um, the Apple Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, and so on. Um, let, let's talk about Microsoft Stream. So in the last video, we spoke about, you know, the different types of groups we have, different channels we have, you know, the different, like, you know, different types of access levels we have, the owners, the contributors, and, and, uh, and, and whatnot. So in this, in this video, I wanted to talk about, I stay on the subject of access models, like the permissions and stuff, but you know, I wanted to show you how we could actually use those and create these channels based on how they could actually be used in your business, you know, give you some, some use cases and, and also show you how, how we can actually set, set them up. Okay. Uh, for that, uh, I was not going to use a whiteboard or I'm not going to actually talk about them as such, just looking at you rather. I'm doing this for the first time on the vlog where I'm going to actually do a presentation, believe it or not. Anyway, so let's get into it. I've got my uh, presentation ready here. It's recording. Let's let's go. So let's cover the UCA scenarios based on the access models. OK, I've, I've created some um, example scenarios where you could actually, you know, use these channels, use these examples in your own organization to set up this Microsoft stream. So the first one is called an open channel where by the name you can actually know that it's actually open for everybody. OK, the videos that you put into this channel, it's not a group, though. It's a it's a channel where you can actually publish video. Anyone can publish videos onto this. OK, the use cases for this could be employee testimonials, you know, the employee videos where they want to share their work experience, you know, the experience and, you know, if they find something interesting they could come on and share it as well so you know this could be employee vlogs or you know informal how-to videos like I do here right uh, or it, they could be customer testimonials if if I if I uh, let's say you're in a sales executive a customer sends out a, a video testimonial to you and you wanted to share it with everyone you know in, in your organization you, you can just post it to the open channel group so the how you how you set it up is by using something called company-wide channel, okay? Uh, we've covered about, what well, we spoke about company-wide channel in the previous episode. Uh, you know, I encourage you to check it out, but it's it's very really pretty straightforward, you know? It's accessible by everyone within your organization. But do remember that, you know, anything that you actually add, any videos that you add to this open channel will be accessible by everyone, and also everyone has got rights on this, okay? So essentially what, what I mean is they have read and write access to it so by write access they also get delete access so anyone can actually delete them as well then you have something called like a broadcasting channel okay broadcasting channel is something more like you know uh, announcements and company updates coming out from you know certain departments or like individuals like your executive teams you know CEOs or you know the board of directors or whoever it is you know the you know if if someone wants to push out content to everybody but they want to have some control on who's got uh, you know control on the actual videos itself they then the best way for you to go is the is the broadcasting uh, way okay anyone in organization can view the uh, view the videos in this but in this scenario but only select users can upload or uh, manage them okay so use cases, executive announcements, departmental videos, like, you know, uh, human resources department want to share out how to videos, you know, employee onboarding videos or things like that, you know, they want to talk about policies and procedures and, and, and the different guidelines, uh, you know, talk about the leaves, uh, how leaves actually work. And, you know, you, you, I don't want to tell you how, how, how you, you run your HR organization, but you know anything that, that HR wants to share out with other people within across the company can use this uh, model. Then you also have town hall style presentations like you know where a quarterly 
update maybe about how the company is performing and things like that you could actually put them in this in, in this sort of scenarios so how do, how you set it up is through a public group you create a public microsoft stream group or if you want if you already have a public uh, group of office 365 group then you can actually connect your microsoft stream group to that then you also uh, then you turn off the contributor permissions for all the members okay you only have certain few few owners the executive team and probably their their secretaries or the departmental heads and and uh, their associates and stuff like that not everyone has got access to this so members will only have few rights of this so that's the broadcasting scenario then we have something called community groups or channels okay so these are based on a special interest type uh, community groups where like you know certain people come together and uh, post videos about you know about their special interest <laughs> so this these are modeled uh, around yammer community groups like you have a community group for let's say uh, i don't know a cricketing club or or knitting club <laughs> so it, 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 anyway you, you you understand if anything anything that's related to like a buy and sell club or book club we, you know there's many of them so the way you set it up set, set this up is through public group again because you want to encourage anyone to come and join but you actually turn on the contributor permission so you give the members the ability the people within the group the ability to add or remove videos but one thing to note because anyone can add or any, uh, remove videos from these groups uh, or, or channels within the groups you need to make sure that you know there's some sort of moderation happening as well okay next up we have closed groups and channels closed groups are, are more like you know very uh, private groups or, or, or channels these are more tied towards your your project sites or you know where you want to you don't want to have a, a shared with the, the wider audience that's where the private uh, closed groups come in the way you set it up is through private group where uh, it's pretty straightforward and you turn on the contributor rights so that the members within that group can actually have control you know people within your project can upload or download uh, remove the videos or, or, or whatnot okay then you have something called meeting recordings okay so meeting recordings could happen between one-on-one -on -one or one to few okay the, the meeting recording these are more like meeting workspaces so uh, examples webcast one-on-one -on -one meetings and you know for example the board of directors meeting could be recorded as well and, and, and published into the board of uh, directors group okay um, the way you do do that it is you use Microsoft Teams to record your sessions when we'll cover in one of the videos on how uh, Microsoft stream integrates with uh, Microsoft Teams and that's where we'll actually, I'll actually show you uh, how this uh, recordings work okay once you record this okay uh, automatically the, the people within that meeting or within that conversation will have direct access to the video but what you can do also is you can actually publish it out into a different channel or, or, or a group okay Next up, what we have is personal videos. This is something that people don't really think about is, is Microsoft Team allows you to upload your own videos as well. So it's like OneDrive for business. OneDrive for business is for documents and images and files. And Microsoft Stream can also be used to store your personal videos. These personal videos could be like, you know, recordings of your screen uh, where you wanted to keep track of, uh, I don't know, uh, it could be anything really. So um, the videos that you, you you that you don't want to share with other people for that matter you could actually if you decide to share them with you can just leave them you can publish them into a different group or a channel just make sure that when you publish it into um, a, a public channel just uh, make sure that the video is enabled for public access okay so that's it so these are the different types of scenarios that you have uh, um, in Microsoft stream based on the access models okay all right, hope you've learned something new today. I know I've, uh, I, I, I speeded up things at the end. That's because LinkedIn only allows me to do a 10 minute video. So I don't know, it's already, I can see there's 14 minutes on this, uh, on this video, I, I, we'll, we'll do some editing. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this videos, give me a, uh, just like, like the video, share it or comment, uh, share your uh, feedback on the video. Or if you wanted to share any, any, any ask questions, you know, use the, use the, uh, the comment section below. All right, stay tuned for uh, next video tomorrow. Cheers a lot.